we're living in a time where we're constantly surrounded by surveillance. So I like to examine that, that the process of giving that up, giving up that information to somebody else and imagining how that information could be used. What I try to do in my work is approach it in a speculative way. Like I make these little speculative softwares where I can just uh, reimagine like how that information is being transferred or used. Started making really simple demos when I was in the prog scene, but a lot of them started out with these really cool like visual presentations. Whenever you open them, those are called demos. And that's kind of like when I really started thinking about making art with computers. I'm interested in the construct of tropical imagery as a way to challenge colonial and imperial histories. As someone who grew up in the Caribbean and lives in the US and sees the uh, contradictions of how one thing is experienced and one thing is image, then I'm interested in that conversation. So I uh, work in photography, performance, paintings, collage, installations, sometimes sculpture, video. I'm very interdisciplinary and I have no medium hierarchies. So it isn't particularly easy to decide on a medium. <laughs> But I think that I definitely explore similar ideas through different mediums because sometimes you can do something one way and then there's maybe like a note that it didn't hit and then you want to take that little bit and maybe explore it in a different way. So I work in a lot of mediums, but I think the one thing that's very consistent is that I always start from a performative place in terms of like where the ideas come from and how I approach the materials, which is that I really start with like what gives me the most discomfort on a daily basis until it grinds me through into a space where I can't stop addressing it. So most recently I've been working on things about anti-Asian violence because I've been just constantly subjected to a lot of assaults and harassment and everyone I know has been and I didn't say I would want to ignore it but there's no way to escape it and therefore I felt like the only weapon I have that would really work is my art practice. For me the most important thing about performance is to sort of shake people out of uh, what is correct and what is normal and if you really scare the hell out of people they might challenge that in themselves.